Hi, it's me, Cheryl, from Story Values, where we travel the world through stories and our imaginations. Let's begin with the welcome song. Hello, I'm so glad you're here for the storyteller's journey. Hello, I'm so glad you've come to join me for a story. My name's Cheryl. Good to see you. Hello, thanks for coming. Hello, I'm so glad you're here to join me for a story. What's your name? Can you say your name? Wonderful. Hello, I'm so glad you're here for the storyteller's journey. Excellent. I welcome you to our story time. Now let's begin. When I tell stories, I always bring my big magic story bag. Inside are stories from all over the world. To find out which story we'll listen to, we'll save the story bag poem on the count of three. One, two, three. Story bag, story bag, what have you to say? Story bag, story bag, what's in you today? Let's take a look and see. Ah, we have a big golden goose. This is a story based on a Grimm's fairy tale called The Golden Goose. Now, while I tell this story, I'm going to be saying a poem a few times and you can join me if you like. We'll say hokety pokety stickety stuck. You can join me. So let's try that again. Hokety pokety stickety stuck. Very good. Now, as I tell the story, Use your imaginations to create pictures in your mind of what's happening in the story. Let's begin. Story ears open, story mouths quiet, story buckles buckled, and let us begin. Once upon a time, long ago, there lived a family, a mother and a father and their three sons. Now the older two boys were smart and strong and handsome and everything like that. And the youngest was an innocent. That meant he had a heart of pure gold. His name was Simon. One day, it was in the winter, the parents said, we need some more firewood. And the older son said, I will go and I will get the firewood. So his mother baked him a cake and gave him a bottle of wine and off he went to the forest. When he arrived in the forest, he saw a little old man who said, I'm so cold and hungry. Would you please share some food with me? The boy said, no, I'm not sharing. This is mine. And he ate the cake and he drank the wine and he took his hatchet and kapoof. With the very first blow, he hurt his foot and he couldn't carry home any wood. On the second day, the second son said, I will go and I will get the wood. So his mother made him a cake and gave him a bottle of wine and off he went. When he got to the woods, he saw the same old man who said, I'm so cold and hungry. Can you please share some food with me? The boy said, no, I'm not sharing. It's mine. And he ate the cake arp, and he drank the wine arp, and he took his hatchet and kapoof. With the very first blow, he hurt his back and he was unable to carry home any wood. On the third day, Simon said, I will go and I will get the wood. And his parents said, you, if your brothers got hurt, surely you will lame yourself. But he said, please let me go, please, please. So his mother gave him some dry bread and a little bit of water, put it in a bag and sent him off. When he arrived, he saw the same old man who said, I'm so cold and hungry. Would you please share some food with me? And Simon said, of course, whatever I have is yours. Simon reached into the bag and brought out a cake and some wine and some bread and cheese and fruit and they had a feast when they finished the old man said simon because you were so kind and so generous i will help you i will give you some advice chop down that big tree right there and you will find a treasure Simon thanked him, took his hatchet and chop, 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 down fell the tree, poof. And there, sitting on the stump, was a goose of pure gold. And Simon said, 
wow! He put the goose under his arm and started walking home. But it was cold and dark, so he stopped at an inn. An inn is like a hotel. He asked the innkeeper if he could spend the night, and the innkeeper said yes, and he showed Jack into a nice, warm room. Jack put down the goose, lay down, and went to sleep. Now the innkeeper's daughter had seen that goose, and she wanted a golden feather. So she tiptoed into Jack's room, and while he was sleeping, she grabbed hold of the goose by the tail and let's do it together. Hokety pokety stickety stuck. She got stuck to the goose's tail and couldn't let loose. When Simon woke up in the morning, he picked up the goose and started walking down the road with the girl stuck fast. Now the little girl's brother saw her and said, "Sister, wait for me!" He ran over to his sister, grabbed her by the hand, and hokety pokety stickety stuck. He got stuck to his sister, who was stuck to the goose, and they couldn't let loose. And Simon kept walking, walking, walking. Pretty soon, their mother saw them and said, "Children, come back!" She ran over and grabbed her son by the hand, and hokety pokety stickety stuck. She got stuck to her son, who was stuck to his sister, who was stuck to the goose, and they couldn't let loose. And Simon kept walking, walking, walking. Pretty soon, the father saw his family and said, "Family, come back!" He ran over and grabbed his wife by the hand, and hokety pokety stickety stuck. He got stuck to his wife, who was stuck to her son, who was stuck to his sister, who was stuck to the goose, and they couldn't let loose. And Simon kept walking, walking, walking. Now it just so happened that Simon walked by the palace of the king. The king had a daughter, a princess, who had been so sad ever since she was born. She had never smiled or laughed a day. In her life, after a long time, the king made an announcement and said, "Whoever can make my daughter laugh will get half of my kingdom, get to be the next king, and can marry my daughter if she says yes." So everyone tried to make the princess laugh, but nobody could. And it just so happened. That when Simon was walking by with the goose and the girl and the brother and the mother and the father all stuck and parading behind, she looked out her window and had never seen anything so funny in her life, and she started to laugh. Oh! <laughs> the king said, "Daughter, who made you laugh?" She pointed at Simon. And the king said, "Simon, come here." And he said, "Simon, you made the princess laugh. That means you can have half the kingdom. You can be the next king, and if she consents, the princess can marry you." And the princess said, "Yes, she would like to marry Simon because it was very important to her to have someone who could make her laugh." And hokety pokety, stickety, unstuck. Everybody became unstuck, and Simon lived happily ever after. And there be my story. Be it bitter or sweet, take what you like, but leave enough for me to eat. Very nice. Good listening. Now, I wonder what you thought about that story. I wonder if you were able to picture what was happening as I told it. It's great to create pictures in your mind of what's happening in the narrative. I wonder if you enjoyed saying "hokety pokety stickety stuck." It's fun to say some of those rhymes and those poems. I wonder what your favorite part of the story was. It's wonderful to imagine the story again after you hear it, and if you'd like, you can retell the story to your family. All right, that's all we have for today. I hope you'll come again. For another story, let's sing our goodbye song. So long, bye bye to you. So long, bye bye to you. 
so long, bye bye to you, so long, peace be with you. See you next time for another story.